Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before watching this video, please be seated with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. A uniform electric field E equal to minus 400 root 3 by Newton per coulomb is applied in a region. A charge particle of mass M carrying positive charge Q is projected M this region with an initial speed of 2 root 10 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. This particle is aimed to hit a target T which is 5 meter away from its entry point into the field as shown schematically in the figure. Take Q by m into 10 to the power 10 coulomb per kilogram. Then this question is multiple choice question. Then we have given four options. That option is A. The particle will hit T of projected at the angle 45 degree from the horizontal. Option B. The particle will hit T if projected either at an angle 30 degree or 60 degree from the horizontal. Option C. Time taken by the particle to hit T could be root 5 by 6 microsecond as well as root 5 by 2 microsecond. And last D option, time taken by the particle to hit T equal to root 5 by 3 microsecond. And this question is asked JE Advanced 2020. Now in this question, we have given the uniform electric field. Its value is given that 400 root 3 newton per coulomb and its direction y unit vector okay this is y direction and this is x direction it is negative shows that is downward direction electric field and initial velocity u equal to 2 root 10 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second and q by m ratio is given that q by m ratio is given that 10 to the power 10 coulomb per kilogram here two concept we have using first Uniform electric field relation between the electric field and acceleration and uh, here the range means projectile motion means kinematics. So these all concepts we have using in this question. Okay. So let us first we have to know that about electric field electric force equal to mechanical force. What is the relation between the force and electric field? We know that very well Q into E. Okay. And what is the mechanical force? Mass into acceleration. Very interesting and very important things. When any object which is thrown to the against to the acceleration due to gravity, then we have using this formula. But when we have to this particle thrown against to the electric field, that time our acceleration is changed. And this acceleration is called effective acceleration. This is effective. So how we can effective acceleration by using this formula and uh, q e transposing this term and now q by m what is q by m given 10 raised to power 10 and what is e is given here e is given 400 root 3 this is effective acceleration okay so we have put here 400 root 3 10 raised to power 10 meter per second square Okay, so you have get all this value and now substitute this value in this range. Okay, here what is the formula of range r equal to u square sine 2 theta by g but in the place of g we have to put here effective acceleration. What is range given 5 meter u what is u 2 root 10 into 10 raised to power 6 whole square sine theta and effective acceleration is given 400 root 3 10 to the power 10 okay it is not given sorry we have find out already and then 5 into 400 root 3 10 to the power 10 upon 2 square means 4 root 10 we get 10 10 to the power 6 square means 10 to the power 12 that is sine 2 theta here 0 0 cancel out 4 tens are 40 this is 50 root 3 upon 10 to the power 10 10 to the power 12 now become 10 to the power 2 means 100 and
and sin 2 theta 50 to the 100 then sin 2 theta equal to root 3 by 2 okay so here sin 2 theta equal to root 3 by 2 it means sin 60 then 2 theta equal to 60 then theta equal to 30 and as we know that very well angle is projected that is complementary so either 30 degree and 60 degree and same range okay so therefore 30 and 60 that is the angle so here we get two projectile angles 30 degree and 60 degree now we have to find out time of light what is the formula of time of light to use sine theta upon effective okay so now to what is the u u is given 2 root 10 10 raised to power 6 upon effective acceleration that is 400 root 3 10 raised to power 10 into your sin 30 what is the value of sin 30 that is 1 by 2 okay here 2 1 to cancel out that is 200 times so t equal to root 10 by 3 here 10 raised to power 6 here 2 into 2 0 means 10 raised to power 12 it means 10 by 3 1 by 2 10 raised to power minus 6 here very interesting things here 2 can be written as inside the root 4 2 2 is a 4 2 5 is a 10 means t equal to root 5 by 6 microsecond so here now putting the value of 10 uh, theta equal to 30 degree we get the time of light root 5 by 6 okay now substitute the value of 60 so now second value theta equal to 60 degree second time of light substitute the value of theta and uh, u what is u 2 root 10 10 raised to power 6 effective acceleration 400 root 3 into 10 raised to power 10 and uh, sin 60 what is the value of sin 60 root 3 by 2 okay so here root 3 root 3 cancel out here 2 2 cancel out t equal to 2 that is 200 root 10 200 10 raised to power 6 10 raised to power 10 then t equal to root 10 then 2 that is uh, 10 raised to power minus 6 this uh, 2 can be written as 10 raised 10 upon 4 then uh, is microsecond means 2 to the 4 2 5 the 8 so here root 5 by 2 microsecond this is second time of flight okay so here our options here our options b and c options are correct okay i hope so you understood this question Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Although your success is 100% your hard work, if my videos can help you, then I will consider myself lucky. Then again, remind you, please like, share and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.